Now then, how are you doing? I hope you're well. In this short watercolour tips video, I want to show how relatively easy it is to produce the impression of a coniferous forest by working quickly and encouraging your colours to bleed together. Basically, do most of the work for you. The trees can then be developed further by adding some texture with salt and breaking them up with a random smattering of dark tones. Let's take a look how it's done. I love a bit of forestry, me. Plantations help to break a landscape up in interesting ways and can sometimes help to hold a composition together. The fact is, I like trees of all types. They are, after all, the lifeblood of the landscape, along with streams and rivers. It's actually very easy to merge trees together to create a forest. I've started out with a light green mixed from cadmium yellow and Prussian blue. But then as I developed it I've added more of the Prussian blue to darken and cool the green. We can make it start to look a little more interesting though by introducing some random textures. One of the easiest ways to do that is to drop some salt onto the wash while it's still damp. The salt will absorb some of the surrounding moisture, creating random patterns in the process. And how long you leave the salt on and how damp the wash is will determine how those patterns look. Well, this is quite a small pattern to be honest. I could have done with applying it a little earlier. Another way to add textures and reinforce the illusion of three-dimensionality is to create islands of dark tone within the foliage. But even without being too precise, we can start to believe we're seeing gaps in the trees to other darker parts of the forest. And don't forget to smooth some of those dark tones off though.
Well, I hope you found that helpful. If pine forests and coniferous trees are something that you'd like to explore further, then you may be interested in the full tutorial, from which this has just been a small extract. Well, in it, I demonstrate a variety of basic tree techniques and finish with a full demonstration of these Scots pines. Well, to view the full tutorial, you'll need to subscribe to my online tuition service. From as little as £9 per month, you can enjoy hundreds of other painting and drawing projects, demonstrations and resources. And full details of how to subscribe can be found in the description below. Until next time, take care.